fox squirrels are common in Texas. Fox squirrels primarily eat acorns and nuts from trees, but also eat insects. Huh, so that means they're an omnivore, right? They eat plants and animals, so they're an omnivore, which means they're a secondary consumer. Some predators of fox squirrels include owls, snakes, and bobcats. So some predators of fox squirrels include owls, snakes, and bobcats. That means these things right here are eating the fox squirrels. So which diagram best represents how energy would flow to and from the squirrel, the fox squirrel? Well, we know that the energy's got to come from the, the acorns and nuts. Okay? So A shows the energy going from the fox squirrel to the acorns. That doesn't make sense. The acorns aren't getting their energy from the fox squirrels, so this one would be wrong. B says that the fox squirrels are, once again, has the same situation. It shows the energy going from the fox squirrels into the acorns. And so this looks makes it look like the acorns are eating the fox squirrels, or the nuts are eating the fox squirrels. That's not, that makes no sense. C shows the energy going from the acorns to the nuts. That's good. I mean, to the, sorry, to the fox squirrels. So they, the fox squirrels are getting energy from the acorns and from the nuts. And then the energy from the, that went from the acorns and nuts into the fox squirrels. Oh, by the way, and also the insects here. I'm afraid I shouldn't forget to mention that part. Then goes into the body of the fox squirrels, which goes into the bobcats and the snakes and the owls when those predators eat the fox squirrels. So this, this one would be your correct answer choice. And the reason that D is incorrect is because it makes it look like the fox squirrel is eating the snake with the energy going from the snake into the fox squirrel. So that would be wrong.